Hey everybody, it's Evan, just jumping in the middle of the edit here. This video has two main parts. One is going over how to use the power adapter with the 60D, and the second part is just general tips when using the EOS webcam utility. So if you're interested in either of those parts, I'll put timestamps down below. Enjoy. Hey, this is Hunter from Black Valve Media, and today we're gonna show you a solution to a problem we were having in our 60D video that we put out that a lot of people have had response with, um, how you can use the 60D as a webcam. And today we're gonna show you the solution to that. So the biggest issue we have is that the dummy battery hat we had was not working with this camera. So we were stuck with the old batteries and that's all right, but they only last so long. So your calls are limited where you have to switch it out mid call and you have to charge it. So that's kind of one more step when you kind of already have a setup that's already set up. So this should solve this for us now. I don't know the brand of this thing. It's on Amazon, whatever. A little documente here and your dummy battery. So from what we understand, the issue is that the battery in the other dummy battery we had doesn't have any sort of communication between this unit and the camera. So it reads an error and, and kind of says unsupported battery so that the, the utility that is used with Windows will not function. So the battery was the solution then, and now apparently this one has that chip. All right, so next what you wanna do is get this sucker plugged in. So let me show you, cause it's a little fiddly. So I'm gonna unplug this guy. He's an unratcheted back here. <laughs> High quality stand here. You won't make me look like an idiot, will you? The trick to this is that there's this little flap right here and it's kind of hard to see sometimes. When you open the door, there's that little flap there. And then the easiest thing to do is just pop this sucker out the way while you're working. And so this, I line it up right there. You bring that through there. When you push it in, you see that little flap there, lays flat. So then now, take your door, push it back in, and shut her up. All right, so now that we got this bad boy plugged in there, we're gonna flip her on, and then no error message is good. We're gonna go live view, and we're live, baby. Let's get a little focus here, a little exposure. Because what we're gonna try to do now is just open up Zoom. We're gonna go to settings, we're gonna go to video, and bada bing, shows right up. We just did Zoom, now we're gonna try OBS, and we just rebooted because we're having a little bit of an issue, and we like to cycle the camera too, just before we start. It, it, it can't hurt, and most often it helps. So we're gonna open OBS, so then we're gonna add, we're gonna hit video capture, we're gonna hit okay, and we're gonna go down to US Webcam Utility, and Bada bing, we're gonna hit okay. So there it is. I think this power adapter is really valuable because if you're jumping on a call kind of out of nowhere and you're not having to worry about like, are my batteries charged or did I charge that battery? Where is my battery? It's already plugged in. It's already gonna work just like a normal webcam would. So, but the advantage is you're using a really nice camera and it kind of gives you a really professional look. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask. So we've had some other comments on our video about problems that a lot of people have been having and some troubleshooting that maybe they weren't able to figure out. So here's some solutions that we have for those. So the first thing you wanna try if you can't get your camera to work with the utility is a different USB cable. So another problem is the camera not showing up. That's kind of an anomaly. If, if you're in a USB port and you have others, just go to another one. Sometimes one port doesn't like it or maybe just unplugging it and plugging it back into another port will re-recognize it. We just had some weird issues and, and I'm sure this will solve some people's problems. And this one's like really messing with us. But basically this is a 16 by nine capture and this frame right here is 16 by nine. Well, we've got black bars on either side. So that tells us that we're squeezing the image, right? feels stretched. Yeah. My theory is that the full, the, like the, the actual frame is the sensor date. You're getting the sensor data, which is. Oh, this. look at, look at top to bottom. It's cropped. Look at top to bottom. It's cropped. So we just figured it out. Okay, let's start that over then. <laughs> we look like idiots. So some people have been complaining about this not being 16 by nine. So what they're seeing on their video video can't feed from the 60D is 16 by nine. But when it comes into here, there's black bars on either side. Now you're not being squeezed. What it actually is is giving you 
4.3, I believe roughly, is what the actual sensor size is. Now, it's actually, no, it's not 4.3, because it'd be a lot more square, I think. But it's, oh, oh, regardless, right. yeah. Regardless, this is giving you the full sensor data. And you can see this by the bottom of frame. On um, here, you can see the bottom of my bandana. But on the 6ED, you can only see not quite the tip of my bandana. So we're missing some, it's crop. If you see that your video has the black bars on either side, it's because it's giving you the full sensor. So what I do is just go here and scale this out and over scan the sides. And now you have a clean, almost, geez. Now you have a clean 16 by nine, which is what you're seeing on your 60D screen. So once you've got your overscan and your OBS, you're gonna wanna add the virtual cam OBS add-on. And we have a video about that and how we used it with Discord. So check that out. It'll give you a step-by-step -step on how to install that and use it as an add-on. And this will let you put your OBS screen in other programs. So once you have your overscan, go up to tools, launch the virtual cam and hit start. Now your video feed from OBS is going to be injected into the virtual cam plugin and that will show up as a source in things like Zoom, Discord, or whatever you're trying to talk through. So now that this is launched, let's open up Zoom. We'll go to settings, we'll go to video. This may take a second as it's trying to scan all the options it has to bring in. Then we're gonna go to camera and we're gonna change that to OBS camera one. And here I am, scaled up. Now we have the overscan image that we used in OBS inside of Zoom. And that gives you a full screen where you don't have these black bars on either side. So this power adapter works really great for us. And if you wanna get one, we have an Amazon link in the description below that will support this channel. So check that out if you wanna get this thing. I think for the price, it's, it's, it's kind of a no brainer. Um, this thing isn't perfect. You know, this is a beta software and it's really awesome that Canon has even let us do that because in the past they're really kind of strict on what they'll allow for video capabilities with their camera. So this is a cool feature. And if you have any questions or troubleshooting questions about this camera or any other cameras in the line, we'd love to help you out and check out our other videos about all this kind of webcam stuff and hope to see you on the next one.